Hi, I'm Chris with Afflictor Broadheads, and today we're gonna to talk about how well turkeys see. So if you wanna know everything about their eyesight, stay tuned. So being infatuated with turkeys, I just had to get a little deeper into their eyesight to be a better hunter and just because I was curious. So years ago, I started doing a lot of research on turkeys, their vision, grabbing any information that I could find, using that in um, some turkey uh, seminars that I was doing. And there's some real fascinating facts about the turkey's eye. Well, first, it's, it's a big eye, right? So when you look at a turkey's skull and you see that this giant area right here on both sides is associated to the eye, uh, it's, it's pretty significant. And if you look on the side of the turkey, you can see that it's a big area. Their eye is very complex. And since they have monocular vision, um, they have a lot of assets to them using their vision as a huge defense me mechanism. As you know, they can see great distances. They can bust you at great distances. But why? What are some of the reasons that they can bust you besides just movement? Um, so if you would dissect the turkey eye just a little bit, you will find that they have the unique ability to see 270 degrees. And with a quick snap of their head, they can see 360 degrees. So that means if you can picture a turkey walking away from you with their head even just slightly at a tilt, they can see you behind them. And with a quick snap, you are now in full monocular focus. So moving uh, when a turkey is anywhere besides behind a tree or behind their tail fan is really tough to get away with. So that needs to be a consideration, especially when you're hunting, about your movement, when to move, when to draw back, when to pull up your gun, whatever weapon you're using. Um, if you're not in a blind, you've really got to be cautious of not only the eye of the gobbler you want to shoot, but maybe the other uh, gobblers and hens that are in the air Area. So let's talk a little bit about the eye. So a turkey's eye has one rod and six cones. Now what that means is rod is night vision and uh, the cones are for color visions. And two of those cones are double, they're split. And one of those cones in their, in their uh, eye sees at 400 nanometers. So it's providing data to that turkey's brain in vision that's 400 nanometers. And why is that important? Because 400 nanometers is UV. So turkeys see ultraviolet. So a lot of times when people are wondering why they're getting busted and picked out from so far away, it's your clothes right out of the gate. If you haven't treated your clothes with UV or you have something on that has a UV brightener in it, you are automatically a fast focal point for a turkey and that immediately puts you in the vision, puts them on alert and most of the time gets them to turn around. So you wanna be very cautious about what you're wearing, your camouflage, your hat, anything you have laying around your set, maybe even your blind. You know, if you're popping up a blind the night before and it has some UV brightener in it, uh, they shouldn't, but it's possible, that turkey's gonna pick that up where normally they wouldn't care if you popped up a blind the night before. So you wanna be very cautious about anything ultraviolet. Now, as far as the turkeys go, that ultraviolet sense is of course used for feeding and breeding and for recognizing each other. Um, much like uh, an insect, like a bee, uses ultraviolet to find the right flowers with the highest nectar, turkeys can also use that ultraviolet to help them find their preferred foods with the highest nutrition when it comes to different flowers or leaves and that sort of thing. So they have that, we have three cones, they have six. So if you wanna do a little comparison to how much color we see compared to them, uh, they are much more advanced. Now with that one rod, rod is night vision, we have one. So roughly, if you wanna consider that turkeys have the same night vision close as we do. So what I like to say is, if you want to imagine uh, what a turkey is seeing from the roost, imagine yourself in a tree stand and you're looking down and it's getting towards dark and the deer are coming in and all of a sudden you go from being able to see them pretty good to just kind of seeing shadows to just only hearing movement. That's similar to what the turkey is seeing in the morning from the roost, which makes it very important for you to get in early, get set up. Even if you break a stick, hopefully they'll forget about that. But if you're seen, it's a whole different story. So the early bird gets the worm or the turkey in that case, because they are seeing very similar to you. Same thing in the evening when they're going to fly up. 
and you want to roost birds, I try not to make any movements at all uh, until they are up and it's dark and they're settled and then I can move about without getting busted uh, being moving from spot to spot. So as far as color goes, very advanced. As far as night vision goes, you can kind of say pretty similar to us. Another thing about turkeys uh, that makes them really special when it comes to their eyes is they have a nictitating membrane. Now, what's that all about? Well, if you've ever watched Shark Week and you see that big shark come rolling up next to the boat and it grabs the bait and turns and you see that third eyelid come across, that is the same thing that turkeys have if you want to put it in that kind of perspective. It serves the same function. It serves to clean and rinse the eye and it also serves to protect their eye when they're fighting. Uh, but what it does lend itself to thinking is turkeys don't blink. So not only do they have this phenomenal eyesight, not only can they see 270 degrees, but they don't have to really blink. They can see you all the time. So their eyesight is really hard to beat. But it's one of the things that makes turkey hunting such a challenge and so much fun is the fact that they have all of that going for them. So as we look at this turkey's eyeball, we can see that we have a lower lid and we have an upper lid. And then coming out of the corner here is that nictitating membrane that I was telling you about. So if we pull this down here where we can get a little bit of a visual, we can pull this nictitating membrane across and you can get an idea how that comes across their eye. And in fact, when they're close to you, it is really easy to see because they do it often to keep that eye lubricated and keep their sight super, super sharp. So you wanna make sure that anytime you're considering the turkey's vision, consider that they have monocular vision. They can see you from a long, long way away, a little bit of movement and they have you picked out. Consider that they see in an ultraviolet spectrum and high color. So if you're wearing something that's really off or you have UV brighteners and anything that you are wearing or around you, you are instantly becoming a visual target for them. And most often those turkeys are going to use that as a defense mechanism and bug out. And then you wanna also consider that they have a nictitating membrane. And so they're not blinking, they're seeing all the time and they have 270 degree vision. So with that vision, you are really uh, have to work hard to make sure you don't get busted because there's usually a group of turkeys and somebody is gonna pick you out. But anyway, that's the name of the game and that's what makes it so interesting. So I hope that uh, there was some nuggets in there that were really good and helpful for you. Please subscribe because we have some really neat turkey uh, videos that are gonna be dropping here in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna be doing some dissection. We're gonna be showing some things that are really interesting and I'm sure that there'll be something in there beneficial for you and give us a thumbs up while you're there. Any questions, drop them below. We'd love to have a conversation with you.